he's been kind enough to bring us into his presence. Yes, if you're able and feel like it and don't mind it, would you please stand to your feet as we ask him to prepare us for church on this our Lord's day. Mm. Most gracious and everlasting Father, Lord, it's once again that we assemble ourselves in your presence. And Lord, as you bring us into your presence, we come before you with thanksgiving in our heart. Lord, we, we thank you that every way of life with us is well as it is. Mm -hmm. Lord, because it could have very easily been some other way. Yes, sir. Yes, but sir. you saw yes, sir. fit, amen, to allow, amen, us to remain in the land of the living. Uh -huh. Lord, you allowed our golden moments to roll on a little while longer. Mm -hmm. While the blood still run warm in our old fever bank. Yeah. Not only that, Master, you've got us still clothed and in our right yes, mind. Right. And we Say yet that. enjoy a reasonable portion of health and strength. Uh -huh. We gotta thank tell you, you thank, you. thank you. Thank you for watching over us day in and day out. Thank you for guiding us up and down the dangerous highway. Lord, thank you for allowing many of us to, amen, live and work where men and women does not always do right. Yeah. And yet you've not allowed harm to come to us. So as we enter this sanctuary on this day, yeah. Lord, we do so with thanksgiving in our heart. Yeah. Lord, I show not thank you. Thank you. Uh, got, got, got neighbors and kindreds and got sick and been called on the glory and we are yet alive. So as we enter this morning, let it be real, Master. Yeah. Everything that we do for the Lord, Master, let it let it be real. Bless us now. Concentrate our hearts and prepare us for church worship. Lord, allow us to worship in the beauty of holiness. And as we worship in the beauty of holiness, Lord, please, sir, fill us with love and, and mercy. Grant us, Master, love and compassion. And show us how to dispense that compassion, amen, toward all mankind. But above all now, Lord, bless this worship. Concentrate this worship. But above all, be mindful of every person that shall enter into this place. We do pray and ask all these blessings in Jesus' name. People of God said, Amen. 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 God is so awesome in the blessing business. 
as we begin our worship, as we begin our worship, hymn number 94. Amen. Hymn number 94. Hymn number 94. Those, I pray that each of you feel like joining us in singing. Amen. We know most of it. We're going to sing line one, two, and then four. Jesus, keep me near the cross. Saint Church, mm -hmm. free to all thy healing. Sing like you're glad to be here. Number nine and four. Number nine and four. No, from Calvary Mountain. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Be my glory. Oh, tell my right to Two. Near the cross of trembling soul, love and mercy find me, yes, sir. the cause in the glory glory hallelujah in the oh yes sir yes sir Let's do number four while you stand to your feet. Deacon Gross, get ready to lead us in prayer. The strong, I want and wait. Yes, sir. Hope and trust in Come on, church. Come on, church. Yes, sir. Come on, church. Come on, church. The yes, sir. Yes, sir. Be my oh, real. Mm -hmm. 
before you at this time Master, to give you thanks for all the many blessings that you so unselfishly bestowed upon us father we thank you for allowing us to be able to humbly submit ourselves to thy will at this time master we thank you for allowing this moment this moment in time in which we pray will mildly, never Jesus, see again mildly, master. Pray mildly, pray mildly. We, most of all Lord, thank hallelujah. you father for mm. the sacrifice of your darling son Oh, hallelujah. Yes, Master, that lily in the valley. Yes, sir. That yes, sir. bright and morning mm -hmm. star. Pray on, pray the on, The one brother. that shed pray his on, blood brother. on Calvary's hill yes, for mm. all of mankind. Yes. yes, sir. That our sins may be forgiven, Master. And at this time, Master, we do beg your forgiveness because we have all fallen short and come short of your glory. Yes, Master, we thank you for allowing this family to be able to assemble in your presence once again. We thank you, Father, for allowing those ones taking the spiritual lead among us, Master, the strength and the wisdom in order that they may do so. We thank you for the ministerial staff of this church family. We thank you for the deacon staff of this church family. But above all, Master, we thank you for those that are occupying the pews at this time. We thank you, Master, for the one that you have blessed us with, our pastor, Father. We ask that you continue to anoint him anew. We ask, Master, that you continue to strengthen him. We ask, Master, that you continue to walk with him. We ask, Master, that you continue to be with his family. Lift them up, Master. And as he stand before your people this morning, we ask that you fill him up, Master. We ask that as he pour out, Father, and he speak boldly your word, we ask once again that you just fill him up once again in order that he may continue to do the work you have so lovingly and so unselfishly commissioned him to do. We fought, Father, we pray for this community. We pray for this, this our government, Father, and the local community. We pray for our national community. We pray for our president, Father. We, act, we know that because of you, it is, is, it is those ones that are civically taking the lead among us, Father. Those ones that, that, that uphold the law of this land, Master. We ask that you continue to protect them, continue to guide them, continue to give them the wisdom in order that they may do things according to your will, because we know that it's because of you that these ones do exist. Now, Master, we pray for all the households that are so, so lovingly represented today. We ask, Father, that you touch each and every one. We ask that you, Master, walk through each and every house. Please, Master, take away all the, the, the sorrow, the pain, and the illness, Master, if it so be your will. And, Master, we pray for those ones that are sick and shut in, those ones that have the desire to be here with us, but yet their bodies do not allow them the strength to do so. Father, we pray for those ones that are bereaved. We know that there are a lot of ones that has fallen along the wayside, that has been called home to glory, Master. So, Father, we ask that you strengthen those ones that are left behind to bereave the loss that they have since suffered. Father, we pray once again that your loving kindness and your guidance be upon each and every one. Father, we give you thanks for all that you have yet have done at this time. We pray, Master, that you continue to bless those ones that are seeking you. And we ask that you give us the strength, be that light that shines through us in order that they may find you in us. Father, once again, we do beg thy forgiveness where we have fallen short of your great and holy name. As we ask that for those ones that we may have trespassed against, the strength and the love to forgive us. And Father, once again, we thank you for allowing this day, this moment, and then during this time. We ask that your will take place during this worship service and not that of ours. In thy son's name, we humbly pray and we give you thanks. thy son's name, Jesus, we thank you. Amen.
Hey, Amen. Hold on, Reverend. Hold on. Give me a minute. Amen. Just before Reverend Spears come with the scripture. How many know time is winding up? Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. Life eating sun. Sinking low. Amen. Amen. What an awesome God we serve. That sounds good. Amen. Thank the Lord for each of you that's that's present on this day. Knowing that it is by the grace of God that we are alive and well. Blood running warm in our veins. We got an opportunity. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm 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 joyful this morning. Amen. Hallelujah. If we enter into this place. We give God all the glory, the honor, the praises, and the thanksgiving as we thank him for right now. All right. To, to each of you, especially to, to the preachers, Reverend Vera Spears, Robert Spears, and mm -hmm. Sonia Green, yes. any, any other clergy in the house, we greet you as well. To the deacons and the deaconess, amen. To the clergy's wife, to, to my wife, still at home, amen. To the ushers, amen. To this beautiful congregation, amen. The Pierce family, amen. The Tumlin family, amen. And each of you, CJ, con congratulations. Good to see you again. Thank the Lord for, amen, you. I, and I pray that God direct you to continue to walk in that purpose, amen. Amen. To our visitors, Deacon Lewis, and anybody else that's, that's visiting, we're delighted to have you. Amen, as we share, amen, in this worship experience. Amen. We're going to get ready for a word from the Lord. Uh, before we do that, let me just see if there are any announcements from anybody. Anybody got an announcement we need to hear at this time? Any, any announcement? Seemingly not. Seemingly not. Who that got an announcement? Jay. Jay got an announcement? <laughs> amen. She said, Jay, amen. To God be the glory. Thank the Lord for you. You look so good this morning to know that God is still blessing us. Amen. Mm. And, and, and we little by little assemble, amen, in his presence. Deacon and Sister Tubman, Deacon Lewis, and, and all of God's children. I'm going to ask Reverend Spears to come and, and read us a scripture. After the reading of the scripture, we're going to ask somebody to lead us in singing. And after that song, amen, we'll come back for a word with the Lord. Y'all sure look good this morning. Amen. amen. Give yourselves a hand. Come yeah. on, put your hand together. Come on. Uh, thank you. Reverend Spears. Our scriptures will be coming from old familiar passage, St. John, the 14th chapter, starting at the fourth verse. St. John, the 14th chapter, starting at the first verse. And it reads, mm -hmm. Let not your heart be troubled. Mm -hmm. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. Mm -hmm. In my Father's house were many mentioned. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go and prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. That where I am, there ye may be also. And whether I go, ye know. And the way ye know. Thomas said unto him, Lord, we know not whether thy goest, and he, and how can we know the way? Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Yes, sir. No, yes. man no man coming unto the Father but by me. Amen. And I had read to you of uh, St. John, the 14th chapter, first through the sixth verse. May it be a blessing to each and every one of you. God bless you. At a time like this, at a time like this, at a time like this, oh, Lord, 
y'all have to say it. At a time like you, oh Lord, at a time like this, at a time. Okay, that's a little better. Romans chapter 6. Um, beginning at verse 3. I'm going to read uh, verse 3, verses 3 through 9. Verses 3 through 9. Romans chapter 6. Amen. Three through nine. Know ye not 
that so many of us were baptized into Jesus Christ, were baptized into his death. Therefore, we are buried with him by baptism into death. And like as Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in a newness of life. For we have been planted together in the likeness of his death. We shall be also in the likeness of his resurrection. Knowing this, that our old man is crucified with him, that the body of sin might be destroyed, that henceforth we should not serve sin. For he that is dead is freed from sin. Now if we be dead with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with him, knowing that Christ being raised from the dead dies no more. Death has no more dominion over him. I'm going to read another passage, Colossians chapter 3. Colossians chapter 3. Um, verses 1 through 3. I really want to read verse 3, but I'm going to read verses 1 through 3. Colossians chapter 3, verses 1 through 3. Through three. Are you there? If ye then be risen with Christ, seek those things which are above, where Christ sitteth on the right hand of God. Set your affection on things above, not on things on the earth. For ye are, verse 3, verse 3, for ye are dead, for ye are dead, and your life is hid with Christ in God. Verse 4. Let me read verse 4. When Christ who is your life shall appear, then shall ye also appear with him in glory. Amen? Amen. Amen. I, I, I want to talk about my life is hid with Christ. My life is hid with Christ. Amen. Mm. And because your life is hid with Christ. Amen. Deacon Gross, you have a hiding place. Amen. If your life is, is hid in Christ. Amen. You have a hiding place. And if that hiding place is in Christ Jesus, guess what? The devil can't get to you. Amen. 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 The, the, the hiding place, amen, is, amen. Dave, good to see you. Amen. Uh, the hiding place is in Christ Jesus. Amen. That means that, that, amen, I'm wrapped up, tangled up, and tied up in Christ Jesus. So if I'm, if I, if I'm wrapped up, tangled up, Amen. And tied up. Amen. In Christ Jesus. So what does that mean? What does that mean? I'm, I'm, I'm yet alive. I'm, I'm yet in the flesh. But the text says you died. Look, look at verse 3. Colossians verse 3. Amen. Verse 3 says, Colossians verse 3 says, Hallelujah. For ye are dead. For you are dead and your life Amen. Is hid with Christ. Now let's talk about being dead. Amen. Hallelujah. It simply means that you are dead to the world. Right. Amen. You're, 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 you're dead to sin. Uh -huh. Amen. You are dead to worldly and earthly pleasures. Right. It means that, that though you are dead in this life, you are yet alive with Christ. Amen. Your, 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 amen. Your life is hid in Him. So what does that mean? It means that though you're yet here, mm, 
yeah, 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 yeah. Your life is secure. Amen. Now this, 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 your, your, your life is secure in Christ. Mm -hmm. Can I get a witness? Yeah, yeah, hid with Christ and God. Amen, amen. God does not trust you. Yeah. Mm. All right. To remain in this world and save that life that he has given you. Not, 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 not Adam, not, not, this is Christ. Not the life from Adam, but the Christ, the life from Christ. That he has, and the reason he doesn't trust you because Satan, amen, got a lot of kind of tricks. And he does have some power, amen, amen, if, 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 if he doesn't take that sacred life, amen. Jesus says in John chapter 10, amen, I'm giving you eternal life because, amen, amen, God has given you eternal life through me because you believe in the gospel. And if you believe in the gospel, I'm giving you eternal life. And if I give it to you, guess what? Nobody can take it away. So I don't trust you. I, I, I don't trust you to keep it. I'm going to keep it. Can I talk to somebody? I, I, I'm going to keep it. So that simply means that your spiritual life. Amen. Hallelujah. Though, you, though, you, though, though you're dead to, to, amen, to worldly lust. Amen to, to the Amen the desires of the flesh. Your spiritual life is hid with Christ. It's wrapped up in Christ. And if it's wrapped up in Christ, Amen, it's secure. If it's secure, Amen, nobody can take it away. As a matter of fact, nobody can even get to it. Because it is with the Redeemer in heaven. Can I get a witness? Mm -hmm. Paul, Paul writes to that church at Colossae and remind them that, that hallelujah, you are dead. And I'm going to talk to somebody. Mm -hmm. You're dead, amen, to sin. And, and, and I'm going to go back to Romans chapter 6. Because Paul explains this in Romans chapter 6. A, a, amen? amen. Glory, had only but a few minutes. Let me slow down because I want to talk. Amen. Being dead, amen, and your life is hid in Christ. There's a process. Uh -huh. Can I get a witness? All right. Yeah, yeah, your life, amen, is like a precious jewel. Yeah. Can I talk to somebody? Yeah. That God is holding, amen, hallelujah, for you until he come back. All right. Keep reading, amen. And when he come back, Glory, hallelujah. Malachi says when he come back to make up his jewels, mm -hmm. those who live is here in him, amen, he said, they shall be mine. Yeah. All right. Can I talk to somebody? All right. This, 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 amen, mm, being here in Christ. Mm. You have that assurance. Now in John chapter 10, Jesus said, I'm giving you eternal life. Amen. God says, I'm giving you eternal life through Jesus Christ because you believe in the gospel. That's in chapter 10. And if I give it to you, nobody can take it away. Mm -hmm. Now, if nobody can take it away, it has to be safe. All right. Amen. There's nowhere down here that's safe. All right. Can I talk to somebody? But, 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 but if it's here with Christ Jesus, yeah. now, now Jesus, 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 hallelujah. The days of Jesus' flesh is over. All right. All right. Can I get to the And if your life is hid in him, it ain't down here. All right. All right. That, that, therefore, I struggle. I struggle to can gross that when my humanity runs out. Yeah. I have a right to go where Jesus is to claim my citizenship. Right. And the reason I can do that is because that's where my life is hid. Right. I'm, I'm about to close. My life. Mm, it's hid in him. Mm. See, see, because my life is, 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 is hid in him. You can talk about me. Yeah. And because I'm yet in the flesh, it hurts sometimes. Yeah. And it even makes me cry. But all that does is cause me to have a closer walk with the Lord. Can I talk to somebody? Yeah, yeah, see, I... Mm. Three more minutes. Yeah, yeah, hallelujah. Mm. And because 
because your life is hid with him. Paul says to the church of God, set your affections yeah. on things where your life is. Yeah. Can I get a witness here? Yeah. See, hallelujah. When you die, when you die, you go to the place where your citizenship uh -huh. is held. Yeah. All right. But now, best of me, just suppose Amen. Your life is not hid in Christ. Uh -huh. And your citizenship is not there. Yeah. And I can like to where you're going to go. Right. Yeah. I'm, 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 I'm just. There is a process yes, to have your life hid in Christ Jesus. Uh -huh. Can I talk to somebody? Did yeah. you tell me the only way that you can have your life hid in Christ Jesus yeah. it is by baptism? Right. Can I talk to somebody? Yeah. Mm. A few more minutes. That baptism, amen, not only is it by water, but it also, amen, by blood. A few minutes. But in order, let, let, let me deal with this water baptism. That's what Paul is saying. If your life is hid in Christ, amen, you got to Get from, amen, Adam being, amen, your daddy to Jesus being your father. Can I talk to somebody? So there has to be a shade of the name on your birth certificate. I'm almost finished. See, right now, unless you're being baptized, amen, in the blood of the Lamb, Adam's name is still on your birth certificate. But if your life is going to be here in Christ, you got to put somebody else's name on there. Can, can, can I get a witness here? I, I get I'm almost finished. Yes, sir. Go to his holy name. So then if you got to have somebody else's name on your birth certificate, it, mean it can only be placed there by birth. If you're Sims, y'all y'all going to help me. Sims is what's on your birth certificate. Mm. Hallelujah. But if you're a child of God, and your life is hid with him. It's hid with him because you are dead. <laughs> Paul says, if you are dead, I'm, 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 I'm in Romans chapter 6. Hallelujah. If, if, if you are dead, then you ought to be buried. All right. All right. Say that, Rev. Amen. Buried with him. By baptism into death. Not, 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 not. Yeah. <clears throat> <clears throat> Hallelujah. Watch out, yeah. In the flesh, yeah. in the flesh, we walk, amen, with the world. Amen. That's all we know. We don't know anything else. So in order to die, Amen. And, and have the opportunity to be buried, Sister Tumlin, by baptism, something has to take place. There has to be a change of your nature from the inside. I'm, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Dick Pierce, you got your. you I, 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 two minutes. I Lord, help me. Your, your, your nature has to be changed. All right. Brown can't change your nature. But what Brown and all of these preachers do is give you the gospel. If you are receptive to the gospel. Yeah. Hallelujah. Something began to happen on your insides. <laughs> yeah. And you don't have to tell nobody I got religion. You got to tell nobody, amen, that I'm holy and sanctified and filled with the Holy Ghost. You ain't got to, you ain't got to tell nobody. Because when it, when it gets in you, hallelujah, try it'll show up. Can I talk to somebody? You, you folks can't stop it from showing up. They determine if it's in you. Yeah. It's going to show up yeah. somewhere. Yeah. But in order to get it in you, you got to come by the gospel. Yeah. Mm. I'm almost finished. 
before before you can have your life secure in Christ, uh -huh. you, you, before your life is here with the Lord, Amen. You got to come by the gospel. Can, can I get a witness here? The gospel is that 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 message that we preach. Yeah. Christ and Him crucified. Yeah. All right. That this lily of the valley yeah. pulled off a royal robe and yeah. hung it on a wall in glory. Yeah. Can I talk to somebody? Yeah. You 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 gotta believe that He was born as a Jew yeah. unto the Jew. Glory, yeah. oh, hallelujah. Mm. But it has to be by the gospel. I ain't got to, I ain't got to your baptism yet. Yeah. If you're gonna, if your life gonna be hid in Him, uh -huh. huh. so then, brother, that's like you got to stop playing church. All right. All right. All right. You can't keep playing church and have folks come in off the streets and get the gospel. No, you can't bring in the church what's out there in the world because that doesn't save folks. That 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 upset folks sometimes. So, so what you gotta have, Sonia, when you preach, you gotta preach Christ and Him crucified. That 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 Amen. That 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 Lamb of God that come from the majestic forest of heaven. Yeah. That lamb of God yeah. that was sacrificed on the altar outside of the gates of the city of Jerusalem. Yeah. I got to tell you, I'm, I'm, I'm going to get to your baptism. I got to tell you that, that Jesus, mm, now when you read the gospel of, of St. Matthew, it says that he came, amen, was born, as the seed of David. Yeah. Amen. Who was the son of Abraham. Uh, Isn't God all right? Yeah. It tell you that, that he came through 42 generations. Yeah. But that doesn't quite reach you and me. Yeah. Can I get a witness here? Because that stopped at Abraham. Yeah. But then there come a writer by the name of Dr. Luke. Yeah. Uh, said that he come through 71 generations. Yeah. And that he is the son <laughs> of Adam, yes. who is the son of God. Yes, sir. And if he's the son of Adam, yes. Adam was my daddy. So if he's the son of daddy, amen, we kinfolk. Yes. As a matter of fact, we brother. Yes. Amen. Y'all with me? I, I, yes. <laughs> hallelujah. But you got to believe not only, hallelujah, is he the seed, hallelujah, of Abraham. Yeah. The seed of Adam, uh -huh. who was the seed of God. Yeah. And God, you got to believe that he was a Jew. Yeah. Came into a sin trial world. Yeah. He came at a time when the world was at peace. Yeah. He was born yeah. in a place called Bethlehem. Yeah. And God, all right. Hallelujah. And when he was born, hallelujah, Herod desired to have his life. And God all right. But God sent him down to a place called Egypt and let him stay there until, amen, Herod died. And then he said to Joseph, amen, they that seek the young child life is dead. You can come home back now. Joseph started back, amen, to Bethlehem. But yeah. the Spirit said, go back down to a place called Nazareth. Yeah. So you got to believe that he grew up in a place called Nazareth. Yeah. you got to believe that when he was 12 years old, uh -huh. he went to the feast, amen, at Jerusalem. And on, on the way home, he said, amen, to Mary and Joseph, after they found him three days later in, in the temple, amen, he said, didn't you know it's time that I be about my father's business? And God, all right. You got to believe, amen, amen, hallelujah. 18 years later, he walked 72 miles to the river of Jordan and was baptized by John, the, amen, the Baptist. 
doctors and when he was baptized heaven opened up and God took the Holy Spirit and shaped it in the form of a dove and swung it down through the elements and God said I heard a voice saying this is my beloved son in whom I'm well pleased you gotta believe that he healed the sick and raised the dead you gotta believe that Thursday night they arrested him around midnight and all night long they marched up from hall to hall and every Friday morning they put a cross on his shoulder and led him up go got the hill and when they got him to the hill they pulled off his clothes and laid him on the cross but they messed up when they raised the cross and somebody said he said if I'll be lifted up from the earth I'll draw all men unto you gotta believe that they hung him on the cross now nine o'clock Friday morning he hung there from nine o'clock to twelve o'clock in the daylight but at twelve o'clock God pulled a cloud and the whole world got dark he hung there till three o'clock on Friday evening three o'clock Friday evening they took him off the cross and laid him in Joseph new tune he laid right there in the tomb to early how many believe it was early it was just like in the morning, you gotta believe that he got up, stepped out on River Ridge and Round, declared I got all power. When you believe that message, you're ready for baptism in God all life. When you allow the Holy Spirit to alter your nature in God all life, when your nature is changed, amen, from a carnal nature to a spiritual nature. I heard, I heard Paul say, amen, therefore, you're buried with him in baptism unto death like as Christ was raised up from the dead as the glory of the Father even so should you walk in the newness of life and do not tell me that when you are baptized there ought to be a difference in your walk can I talk to somebody you ought not to walk like you used to walk you ought not to go where you used to go you ought to have a different attitude your voice ought to change in God alright but if you believe that gospel message and over be what it said in the word. Your life can be healed in Jesus Christ. Can I talk to somebody? My life is healed in Him. Say my life is healed in Him. One of these days, when it's all over, He's gonna come riding on a cloud. Yeah, I got to see Him. Every knee got to die before Him. Every tongue got to confess that He is the Christ. Glory. Hallelujah. So if you believe the message, you are ready for baptism. Right? Just like Jesus laid in the grave. Got to take you down in the liquid grave. Cover your body completely. Take you down as a sinner. But you ought to come up with a new walk. In God, all right. You ought to come up with a new talk. In God, all right. I believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of a living God. I've been baptized in the water. Jesus baptized me with the five Holy Ghost. And since he baptized me with the five Holy Ghost, my life is here in him. See, you can talk about me much as you please. You can stand around my name, but I'm not worried about it. One of these days, I'm going to quit this bill of walks of men. And when I quit this bill of walks of men, I'm going home. Huh? I'm going home. I'm going home because my life is here in him. And when I get there, hallelujah, I'm going to get my citizenship. And see, when I get home, I'm going to tell him about my trouble. When I get home, I'm going to tell him about this old world that I just come from. When I get home, it's going to be hard and hard. Hallelujah. And never goodbye. When I get home, I'm going to walk the streets of gold. I'm going down to the pool of Salaam. I'm going to bury my weary soul in the pool of Salaam. I'm going to take a leaf off the tree that bears 12 mans of fruit and put it to my womb and spirit. And when I put it to my womb and spirit, everything, everything. <laughs> my life is here with him. And see, you can take, amen, you can take this body 
Hallelujah. You can kill this body. But my life is with Christ Jesus. All you can do is kill the body. And when you kill the body, maybe I'm going to take flight to yarn the world. I'm going to say to the Lord, give me six wings. Two wings to fail my feet. Two wings to fail my failure. Two wings to fly away. I'm going somewhere to be at rest. Job said if we can receive some trouble, the way it will be at rest. It'll be howdy, howdy, and never goodbye. Will you meet me there? Will you meet me there? My life. My life is hid. That means I'm I'm still here in the flesh. But 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 amen, I've died to the sin of this world. I'm dead, I, and I've been buried in baptism. That's what that's what baptism do. See, when you believe the gospel, confess, turn from your sin, acknowledge that you are a sinner, then you're baptized for the remission of your sin. When you're baptized for the remission of your sin, can I get a witness? That's that's the first step. You become a disciple. A disciple is a student. Amen. That must be taught. See, because the only thing you know when you come to Christ, I don't care if you run down the aisle shouting and crying and, and whatever else you're doing. The only thing you know is what you've done out there. So when you get in here, Martise, there must be some teaching. When we fail to teach, we fail to do what the Lord requires us to do. It is through the teaching, amen, of the church that, amen, you're baptized into death with him. And just like, amen, Christ rose from the dead, you rise up out of that liquid grave to a new walk, amen, just like Christ was raised up. And when it's all over, when it's all over, when, when Christ come back, then he's going to raise you up. The Bible says, blessed are the dead who die in the Lord. They, those that die in the Lord are going to rise first. Amen. And we're going to meet them in the middle of the air. Right. But you got to, amen, you got to be in him. Amen. Your life has to be hid in him. And the only way you can have your life hid in him is because, amen, you've been, you're dead. You're dead to the sins of this world. Amen. amen. And the only way to be dead to the sins of this world is through the gospel. No other way. Singing is good and I love it. Amen. Amen. But it doesn't save you. Amen. Oh, yeah. It sounds good. It makes you shout. Amen. Bring tears to your eye. Put your own, amen, preaching and teaching territory. But it doesn't save you. Amen. It's praising God. But in order to be saved, you got to be convicted. Singing doesn't convict you. I'm, I'm through preaching, Terminal. Amen. Amen. I pray that your life is hid with Christ. Amen. And if it's not hid with Christ, now is your opportunity to accept the gospel. Make him your Lord and your Savior. Amen. 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 Does anybody else feel like singing for us to open the doors of the church? Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh. We just stand to your feet. You don't have to put any chairs out, but if anybody feel like coming. Those are the church open.
Hallelujah. Jesus. The door is open. Will there be one? Will there be one? Amen. You may be seated. Most holy and gracious Father. Father, you're so awesome. Your kindness goes beyond more than we deserve. So as Jacob said, Lord, we, we are not worthy of the least of your mercies, but you constantly shower us with your mercy day in and day out. And all we can do is tell you thank you. We acknowledge that we owe you and hadn't got anything to pay you with. And sometimes our devotion and our worship is half-hearted. But right now we tell you thank you. Thank you for every way of life as well as it is, Master. Thank, thank you for keeping us and blessing us. And as I stand only in your presence right now, Lord, I want to lift those who are sick and shut in before you. Lord, uh, sickness, amen, everywhere, but especially in this church family. Those who are on a bed of affliction, those who have lost their way, amen, I lift them before you right now. I simply ask that you be the doctor. And I thank you now. Thank you, Master, for bringing us into your presence. Lord, I, I lift this, amen, this church family before you. Thank you for, amen, those who are present, those who are present. Lord, I pray that you continue to watch over CJ, guide him day by day and step by step. Lord, I pray that you hold Pearl Pierce in the hollow of your mighty powerful hand. And, and when she get weak, Lord, I pray that you strengthen her where she weak. Lord, I, I, I ask in almost a mission that you would watch over 13 cross, Master. There are days when, amen, she get weak along the journey, Lord. Strengthen her where she weak and build her up where it's on down. Lord, there's still the woods, Master. Lord, hold her in the hollow of your mighty powerful hand. Don't forget about China Chatfield. Hallelujah. Glory, Catherine Light, Ali Smith, and all of those that I'm duty bound to pray for. But above all, those of us who are present at this hour, thank you, Master. Thank you for keeping us and bringing us. And because of your blessing, we are able to give back to you a portion of that which you have blessed us with. So as we bring our gifts before your presence, as we bring our gifts to this altar, Lord, I pray that you receive these gifts, that you receive them in the spirit in which they have been given. So much so as you receive them, you continue to bless the giver, amen, that we will always have to return unto you. And those that shall, shall receive of these our gifts, Lord, allow that portion of these gifts to be a blessing in their lives. Now, Lord, keep us day by day and step by step as we return unto you that which you have blessed us with. Amen. Now unto him who's able to keep you from falling, sent you faultless before the presence of his glory. To the only wise God, I would say, be glory, majesty, dominion, and power, both now and forever. And the people of God that was present shall sing together. Oh. Y'all know our routine. Bring your, bring your offering. Amen. The folks on this side, excellent on this side. The folks on that side, excellent.